In this video, I'm going to show you how to modify the home page of a SharePoint site and put some content which you already have in the site. This is the home page. In this site, I have a lot of libraries which contain documents and lists which contain data. One of the libraries has a Visio drawing which is shown as a file. If I click on that file, because we have Visio Viewer now in Office 365, it will be rendered on a browser page like this. I don't want this. I want this particular diagram to be always visible on the home page. This is how you go about doing it. Go to the home page. You will see a page option here. Of course, you need to be an administrator with edit permissions on the page and the site. So when I click here, a ribbon opens and we want to edit the page. When you start editing the page, it gives you a lot of things. So notice that this cursor is here on top. If I press enter, I can do something there. I'm not going to create extra space. What I'm going to do is click there and add what is called as a web part. Web part is basically a method of getting content from various places and putting it in a part of a page that's why it's called web part part of a web page when i go there there is a long list don't get worried by default it shows you all your lists and libraries this is a good thing in case you wanted to show a particular document library right there on the home page right now we are not interested in it we are interested in business data under that, you get a lot of web parts. The two most important ones are Excel Web Access and Visio Web Access. We are going to go to Visio and click on Add. Now, it just adds a placeholder which will allow you to put a Visio drawing. Now, this web part is a general purpose web part for all Visio drawings. It needs to know which Visio file you are interested in. So, click here on the tool pane so that it opens the options. There are lots of options. I'm not going to go through all of them, but the most important one is where is the file? So when you click on it, it will open all the content of the site and you will have to choose the one you want. This is a long list. So just make sure you go to the place which is in, important to you. In this case, I have a document library called finance. So I click on finance then it is going to show me all the files within finance and then we will get to our Visio drawing. So you just select it. Now this is the path. Of course, if you knew the path, you could have typed it also. But remember, this is a relative path. This is the whole path. This is the relative path. Now I click insert. So notice what happens. The path comes here and the drawing will soon be rendered. There are many other options which I am currently keeping as default. And then there are other options here which allow you to choose what others should be able to or should not be able to do in this case. So again, I am keeping these default and then I click OK. When I do that, the web part will be rendered and the image will be shown there. Now that we have finished editing, you click on save. And this is your page. Of course, there is a title, there are options and all these can be controlled. If you want to change that, you again go to page, go to edit. And then when you go to edit, this will open. By default, when it opens, it does not open the tools pane, which gives you all the options. So now you click here and say edit web part then you get all the options and then you can refine all those options depending on requirements but for now this is the method of putting a visual drawing on the home page of your SharePoint site thank you